welcome back to my channel. Um, if this is your first time, my name's Tasha. I'm from New York, um, and I'm just recently getting into this. So if you like my videos, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can overcome anxiety. Um, just because right now, the world is crazy, and I feel like we're really going through some anxiety-provoking times with, like, COVID-19 and um, like all the riots going on, the whole Black Lives Matter movement, um, everyone losing their jobs. A lot of people still aren't back to work or are working from home. Everyone's kids are home. So there's so many anxiety provoking things going on right now. So I'm just going to share um, about 15 tips that you can use to overcome anxiety. Oh, by the way, my hair today, I just slept with like three braids in my hair and it came out so cute. I'm obsessed with it. It's so much easier than using the crimper. Literally just sleep with braids, take them out and you're golden. All right, so if you wanna see how you can overcome anxiety, then please keep watching. Okay, number one, you have to take time out of your day to either practice some yoga um, meditate, um, listen to some music, and just get, just take a step back from distress and anxiety. Even if it's just for 10 minutes out of the day, do some meditating, take out your yoga mat, do a couple meditating poses, um, listen to some classical music or some kind of music that's gonna relax your mind and ease your mind. Um, number two, make sure you eat well-balanced meals, okay? So you don't want to be eating McDonald's or Wendy's every day. You want to be making well-balanced meals, like high-protein, low-fat, like grilled chicken, broccoli. Your body will literally thank you. And your mind, your brain chemistry, like if you put good food into your body, <clears throat> your brain like re chemicals itself i don't even know how to explain it these are the tips that worked for me also <clears throat> oh always keep energy boosting snacks on hand um for example like if you go to whole foods they have like those little protein bites those are really good or you can make your own protein bites i know a lot of people do that um smoothies are good energy boosting snacks, um, nuts, pecans, walnuts, almonds, stuff like that are good energy boosting snacks. So yeah, just eat a well-balanced meal all around and it will definitely help ease your anxiety. Number three, limit alcohol and caffeine intake. Um, alcohol and caffeine does aggravate anxiety. It does trigger anxiety. Um, it does trigger panic attacks. So if you do have really bad anxiety, I would stay away from alcohol or caffeine. Or if you do drink coffee, just have one cup, not five cups, because um, the caffeine just make you like jittery and it does um, provoke panic attacks. Um, number four, make sure you get enough rest. Make sure you get enough sleep. Make sure you're getting, I would say, between eight to 10 hours a night if you have um, stress or anxiety. Um, it's definitely what your body, your body definitely needs additional amount of sleep when you're under high stress or anxiety. Number five, um, exercise daily. It will help you feel good and maintain your health. So exercising for me, and I know this is probably goes for a lot of people, um, it gets you in the zone, it gets you up, out of the house, motivated, and then while you're working out, you don't tend to think about those um, stress prone situations in your life. You're like, you're in the zone. You know what I'm saying? You're in the zone, you're working out. Like you're, you're not thinking about anything else besides working out on that treadmill or doing that ad machine, you know what I mean? So for that hour or two hours that you're working out per day, your mind is completely focused on just working out. So it's really good to exercise daily. Um, okay, number six, take deep breaths. Okay, this helps me on the daily. If I'm fighting with my man or with my parents or my mom or my sister, this definitely helps to um, count to 10 slowly, like super slowly, 
and you're gonna inhale hold it in exhale and if you do that about 10 times I promise you your body will feel more relaxed after and your anxiety will kind of drift away a little bit trust me it works try it um, number seven do your best. Instead of aiming for, perfect, perf for perfection, which is literally impossible, be proud of however far you've come. Like if you've had really bad anxiety and you had like suicidal thoughts and stuff like that, and now you're not suicidal, be proud of where you came from. Be proud that you're not in that state of mind anymore. Be proud, or say you got a new job and that stresses you out. Be proud that you got a new job, even though you're stressed out about it. But you have to find things that you're going to be proud of that'll get your mind away from like that anxiety. Okay. Number eight, accept what you cannot control and put your stress into perspective. There's people out there that have it way worse than you. Think about like the little kids, children in Africa who are starving to death and have no shoes on their feet or the homeless people in New York City who are begging for change, to like just to get one meal for the day or a blanket to keep warm at night. Like you have to think about um, things like that and put your anxiety into perspective. Like, is it really that bad or do other people have it way worse than you? I think other people probably have it way worse than you. All right, number nine. Welcome humor. A good laugh honestly goes a long way. So get out of the house, call a friend, go to lunch with your mom who you haven't seen in three months because of COVID-19. Um, it'll definitely get your mind out of the gutter. gutter. Um, it'll, and especially if you laugh, like humor is key. If you get out of the house and you laugh, your mind will like be at ease and everything will just be better. All right, number 10. Maintain a positive attitude. Make an effort to replace all negative thoughts with positive thoughts. Because if you do that, then your mind is like, you're, you're revamping your mind to just think positively instead of negatively. And I think like that will help a lot with anxiety. Get involved. Uh, volunteer or find another way to get active in the community this creates a support system kind of like if you were an addict going to like an AA meeting or NA meeting and you have a sponsor that creates a support system this is the same thing if you get active in the community um, you will have a support system you'll have people to talk to you will have friends to talk to you'll be getting out of the house um, it'll definitely help your anxiety um, Learn what triggers your anxiety. Is it work? Is it family? Um, is it your kids? Is it your spouse? Um, and then make a journal and write down all the stress, stressful situations that you encounter so you can look back on them and maybe you can start to develop, like maybe you'll start to see some kind of pattern forming on stressful situations that you encounter and maybe you can stay away from those situations in the future so definitely write a journal make a journal make notes write down stressful situations um number 14 talk to someone tell your friends tell your family don't stay quiet when you have anxiety because honestly holding in thoughts and stuff like that makes it a hundred times worse like if you're just sitting in your bedroom and crying because you hate life and you hate your job and you hate your boyfriend or you hate your kids it's not gonna help you have to you have to talk about your feelings so you either have to talk to a friend a family member and if you really want to reach out you can talk to like a physician or a, or a therapist because I mean I never have done that I've thought about doing that but I I think like my tips for the most part I've been working so if you guys want to try these tips I'm telling you they worked for me and they'll definitely work for you okay so things you could do you have to set small goals on the daily whether it's getting up making a YouTube video um, finding a hobby making jewelry um, making clothes using a sewing machine whatever it is like you have to find a hobby to distract yourself 
and just be patient. Honestly, be patient because it's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to feel amazing and anxiety free overnight. Um, you have to definitely unwind after you have a hectic, hectic day. Come home, make some green tea, veg out on the couch, change into sweatpants, um, maybe like troll through Facebook, look on your phone and just wind down because that will honestly ease your mind um, about your day, your hectic day or whatever. Um, there are some supplements that you could take to help anxiety. I take um, this. It's called L-Phenine. Um, I, I looked it up before. So L-Phenine crosses the blood-brain barrier and has the ability to modulate inhibitory neurotransmitters, selective serotonin, and dopamine to bring about a calming effect. And honestly, I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. Like, you take it. You, this one is good because you only need one capsule. It's 200 milligrams in one capsule. They say if you want to feel the effects of l you have to take between 50 milligrams and 200 milligrams. This one has 200 mil milligrams. So, and after um, maybe like an hour or two after you take it, you really do feel your body like calm down. Like if you have nerves, it calms your nerves. Like I'm telling you, this stuff is honestly amazing and another supplement that you guys could take that's like a natural supplement um, is CBD uh, CBD they have gummies they have drops they have so many different CBD chocolates they have everything CBD um, this reduces the anxiety and discomfort in like public speaking if you have PTSD it's good um, I know I have social anxiety and I know I've tried CBD in the past and it definitely does work. So I would say CBD, l <clears throat> and if you really want to go crazy, um, you can smoke some cannabis because I know that's probably helps a lot too, which with getting rid of anxiety. But anyway, guys, those were probably my 15 tips or tricks to overcome anxiety. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for more upcoming videos. Bye!